Hey, what's up guys? We're here on 7 Days to Die. This is Alpha 20 Experimental, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a series. We're going to be doing a Warrior Difficulty Alpha 20 Hardcore Survival Challenge. Just going to try to survive as long as I can. Uh, I got a couple little mods, a couple quality of life mods going on. Nothing too crazy, like stack sizes, health bar stuff. Um, we do have a stronger headshot mod, so get those zombies down with a lot less to the head. You go right for the brains. Um, other than that, everything is pretty normal. We have um, a couple little modifications. We have um, Feral Sense. The new Feral Sense is going to be always on. Uh, we have a five day Blood Moon Horde with a three day frequency. So it means it can be on day two, it could be in day four, it could be all different days. Um, and then other than that, we went with the 10k world size. And we started out with a, a mining helmet with a light, just so everyone could see a little bit better. So I know sometimes it gets a little bit dark, so we're going to go. We spawned over here by this uh, little bit of a city town, something like that. These new farm areas are looking pretty cool. Um, I usually play Darkness Falls, which is a uh, big overhaul mod. And uh, so hopping on this, it's a lot different. It's actually a little bit easier. So I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm on a warrior difficulty. So a little bit above average. And um, I think I have most of the zombies walk and sprint speeds are with whatever comes with warrior. So we're going to try to grab some of these plant fibers and stuff, get these initial quests done. And we're going to be doing everything on one life. So if we die, that, that means game over. Alright, grab the bedroll. I like the new colors and stuff they added for the bedroll. You can, uh, if you hold R, almost everything now has these shape selectors and you can change the color of it and everything. It's pretty cool. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice one. White and red. I'm going to pick that up because we're not even going to need that. I wonder if I can kill this one with a torch. Oh, it actually does pretty good damage and she burns too. So yeah, like up top we got the uh, health bar for Miss Arlene. Just a nice little uh, little feature that I, I like. All right, and they added these new tool tips and stuff too for uh, different things like the quests that you need to pick up, like the stones. Oh, we need to craft the stone axe. Let's take rid of uh, Mr. Bow here. Cook him up. There we go. Look at him go. And I'm liking all the um, the new skins and textures they got for uh, most of the zombies. It's definitely a nice refresh over the same zombies. Killing the same ones over and over again. Uh, we do also have, um, if you look in the bottom left here, I got a different UI mod just because uh, it's hard to keep track of the food and water because it's about the same size as the XP bar here at the bottom, just underneath your hot bar. So um, sometimes you just kind of forget to look at it. So it's a lot nicer to see the percentage in a bigger bar. All right, we need to craft a stone axe. I mean, I haven't done these challenges in forever. More plant fibers. I don't want this. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we just have stack size, the increased headshots, a um, couple little mods, some inventory ones. We have a bigger um, crafting slash decrafting bar. I think forge inputs. Um, so nothing too too game changing yet. I'm waiting for the Darkness Falls to be updated. It's one of my favorite mods. They adds all kinds of different uh, zombies, creatures, and demons, so to speak. Makes the game a lot more challenging. It adds a lot of neat um, gameplay aspects and different things to do and craft. A lot more content could say. Look at this guy. Oh, Hazmat. This guy looks nice. I haven't seen him yet. That's a nice skin. Looks like this guy just came out of rust. Hazmat doesn't protect you from the fire, my friend. Oh yeah, there he goes. Alright. Plant fiber, shirt, and pants. I'll throw these on. Scrap this stuff down. I'm gonna try to keep Inventory a little bit tidy. Get rid of all the stuff we really don't need. Looks good for now. Gather some wood, alright. 
I'm going to put this over here. What's this? Oh, these you can get wood from these. I didn't even realize that. Look at that. Goes to show last time I did these quests. It's a good thing they have these helpers. Maybe they made them just for me. Alright, wooden club. I do like the uh, blunt weapons. They are pretty good. Especially once you get your stamina up. And eat this. Uh, looks like a soggy envelope. They need to redo uh, the textures for all the food and stuff. That would look good. Alright, let's see if we can give this girl a little... Uh, little detox with some fire. There we go. I'm just really surprised I haven't caught enough fire yet. There we go. Bonk. Bing bong. Bing bong. We hit him with the stone hatchet a few times. There we go, look at you. About 10 damage each, not too bad. And they added a uh, dismemberment too, to I think most of the zombies, if not all of them. So that's pretty exciting. Just give me one second. Just grab this, take that wood, nice. We didn't have to finish that quest. Somebody else over there, oh yeah. Mr. Businessman. Alright, we'll grab this bow and a bunch of arrows. Oh, we need more feathers. Feathers, I noticed, are a little bit hard to come by. We don't need this right now. Alright, let's get this bow out. To see if how these headshots are doing. Most, uh, Pretty much most um, ranged weapons should be a one-shot to the brain. There we go. Even though the zombies aren't technically real, but a little bit more realistic. Especially if you sneak up on them. Ooh, cooking pot. Nice. I thought that was going to be a bomb. Anything good in these ovens? Brains. I don't want brains. Some charcoal. I'll take that. Some food. A soda pop. Soda fountain. Some water. That's always nice. Now, those waters actually sell really good, so if you get a bunch of them, especially if you get a uh, cigarette or something, it gives you, uh, I think, 10% increased bartering. Even more um, money to sell those uh, these blueberry. To sell them water glasses. Oh, come on, that one right past his head. Let's take this widow over here. Oh, did I make a club? I completely forgot to put the club. There we go. Oh yeah. 40 damage each. I like that. Alright. Um, I think I lost my arrow, but that's alright. We'll have to make some more. Ooh, shotgun messiah. We gotta go over here, guys. Got some hair in my face or something. We are also, will be streaming, um, 7 Days to Die and a lot of other games on Twitch few times throughout the week if anyone would like to hang out, stop by, even play. Uh, it's twitch.tv dot slash tylerrko. And I will be there. We can play together. I got another world we can all play. This is going to be a solo run on this one. But um, I can play on the other server I have. A couple friends and stuff. Once Darkness Falls come out, comes out, I'm going to be playing that a lot. I really like the uh, new pipe weapons and everything they have. I think that's a nice uh, start. Ooh, an axe. Nice fire axe. Nice uh, in between for. Uh, what's going on? Here we go. In between, between no weapons, a blunderbuss, and good weapons, which is nice. Alright, we'll do this. We'll put that there in case I need it. I don't think I want the shame sandwich. Don't want these potato seeds. I don't want these. Actually, I'll hold on to the bones in case I need to make any glue. Oh, I'm gonna hit this guy, Mr. Mo. How you doing, bud? I need to get some more arrows. The way I need to get some more stamina. He gets a little bit mad. All right. Uh, why don't we have one of these waters? Let's see if we can hear anybody in here. Those piles. I still have to finish this quest, I forgot about that. 
All right, we'll uh, throw this here. We'll make one of these. All right. Place this down. Or somewhere out of the way. I hear something smacking. They also changed how many stages of blocks there are. I think it goes to that, like, the twig type building material, then wood, and then I think it's flagstone, then concrete, and then steel. So they got rid of reinforced concrete. And, um, I'm not sure if they had a reinforced wood or not. I know there's a reinforced wood texture. Now these look cool. I would like to see them make, like, a modular system for these. Ooh, that's really good. And be able to, like, build these display cans, stands with, uh, different kinds of weapons and ammo and stuff like that. Dude, that's nice. Two of them, too. They actually really don't sell too much, but I'll put that on. Get rid of that. One second to pickaxe, and I can also put it on the auger, which makes it really good. Alright, we need to make a campfire. Let's finish up these quests while I'm here real quick. And then we just have to locate the trader, so there we go, sweet. Um, do we get points for that? Oh yeah, four, alright. We're going to go with strength. I think strength is always a good idea. We'll go with the sexual tyrannosaurus. Always good for the uh, stamina. I'm going to go with another one of these. I think someone's coming. Oh, here we go. we got to check this out. Um, pop up here. Close that. There we go. Alright, now we can check this perks. Um, and we're probably going to be going with a lot of... Um, a lot of blunt weapons. Like bats and clubs and stuff. Let's see. I think we'll grab the healing factor as well. That's just nice to have. Kind of hit it and forget it. And there's another one I would like to get. Ooh, we should probably grab this one too before I focus on anything else. And Grease Monkey, so we get a um, different vehicles with Grease Monkey. So off of the bike and stuff, and then we'll get a motorcycle and all that good stuff. I also usually play with a bunch of vehicle mods too. So I'm excited to see those updated and uh, be able to use those again. But surprisingly, um, this is experimental, and there's still a lot of mods that are being updated already. Ooh, we have a wall safe. Let's see if we can... We don't have any lock picks, so yeah, I'm not going to sit there and pick that. We'll have to come back to that. I'm sure there's uh, some more loot somewhere we can grab. Hopefully, at least. This is a new uh, POI, I'm sure, so... If, uh, if not, I haven't been here before. I wonder if I can just jump... Jump. Oh, almost. Alright. We'll just craft a block. Um, yeah, what? Why don't we do this? Look at the new menu, guys. There's so much stuff. It's awesome. I'm so excited to start building with it. And it has, like, little categories, too, to help you. And then even, like, the ramps you can pick up now, which is really nice, because I think ramps were one of the things that, once you place down, you can't just pick it up again. So basically the whole first tier of like twig material you can pick back up. So we got some feathers, sweet, we can make some more arrows. We are going to need those. Alright, what do we got going on here? Alright, this ceiling's probably going to be dropping out from underneath me. Okay, so the white part does, so we just have to make it quick. Smack this open real quick. Alright. What do we got? Shotgun bullets and the Molotov. Alright. Take it. I was expecting a little bit better, but that's alright. Um, so that's where we started out. This is the entrance. Why don't we drop down here? Ooh, I'm glad we didn't break anything. Let's give this guy a nice uh, wake-up call. This guy's over here. He's a little bit angry. Nice. Right, grab the arrow back. Nice and quiet now, these guys are sleeping. Right, this is like the loading dock area. Check these trash. Rolling storage, a paintbrush, we don't want that. Not yet. Oh, hi, boys. Oh yeah, he's hurt, he's hurting, he's hurting. Ooh, we need to take him out quick. Oh, 
Oh, okay. This works, boys. But he really hurt, too. He's feral. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. Well, he hit me two or three times, I'm thinking, and then that's more than half my health. So we're going to have to be careful. I don't really know too much about um, the changes of the zombies and everything through the update. I just know the uh, different things they added. I know they did with blocks and uh, a couple of other things. Let's see. Look, at where's the main loot in this place? Anybody in here? Knock, knock. Nothing in the toilet. Some aloe cream, that's good. I can make some more bandages. If this wasn't the only bandage I had, I would be using it right now. But I see that's good that we got the uh, healing perk, so we... Uh, just like Wolverine, we can start healing. Anybody see the new uh, Wolverine trailer they released? I don't know, probably a few months ago. Looks awesome. Alright, so yeah, there's really not too much so far. Unless I'm completely missing something. We'll take a look over here. Yeah, nothing. So uh, let's clean up the inventory a little bit. Oh, we can scrap all this stuff. If we need it, we can always make it. Oh, actually, um, let's let's get a nice pipe weapon together. Uh, we don't have duct tape, I don't think, yet. The glue. Oh, oh, we need one more pipe. Okay. So you all take four pipes. All right, we'll go with a shotgun when we can. Um, why don't we eat up this sham? Comes a zombie to come hang out with us. Scrap that, scrap that, we don't need any of this, we don't need this. We don't need this cornmeal, hopefully we can move a little bit faster now. Is that zombie? Okay, he's going to come bother us. Alright, we'll take care of him real quick. Then we'll uh, check out the rest of this. Ooh, I could hit him. There we go. Would help if I hit him. Uh, check out the rest of this, please. I'm not sure, maybe I just completely missed it? Not seem like there's too much loot in this place. Yeah, hmm, not sure. All right, well, we're gonna head over here to uh, oh, crack book. Yes, this is one of my favorite stores. Awesome. That and the shotgun messiah. So hopefully this one doesn't disappoint because the shotgun messiah is a little bit disappointing. What's this one? It's a fire station, that's cool. Electronic store. Alright, we'll check out this place, see what kind of uh, books they got. I can get some skill points and uh, recipes from. Knock, knock. It's the landlord. You're being evicted. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he went flying. Oh man, I missed him. I knew that one was going to miss that time, that's alright. That was just me being garbage. That's alright, no worries. Where's this guy at? Ooh, gotcha. Damn. Knocked him in next week. Alright, what do we got? Oh, paper, come on. If I want to go to paper, I go to the post office. I, that's why I'm not at the post office. Don't want paper. I like the, what they did with the new bookshelf, so they look nice. Oh, here we go. Brawler. Alright. Hmm. I wonder if that's only for like beer and like knuckles or fist weapons or uh, anything of that nature. So these are, I guess, double sided. Okay, here we go. Something good, something good. Dang. We're just going to do a circle around this building real quick. And after, I think, here, we're going to head over there to the trader. A red tea schematic, alright. A recipe, anyways. So in Darkness Falls, you uh, scrap the schematics that you either don't want or that you already have. So then you can use to make recipe books to learn different classes. So you can make different things, get different uh, skills and abilities, things of that nature. Oh dang! Definitely handy to have this bow. Check out these big piles. Something good. Dang, nothing yet. Oh, there we go. I think that was Magnum Enforcer. 
Uh, where is it at? Hunt, Spear Hunter. Uh, that's alright. I, I think I'll just sell that one. I don't really want that one too much. Take a sweep over here real quick, see if there's anything. Nothing. Alright. Anything on the registers? There's some books here. Someone was checking out and had to go. I think I just got this, so we'll just uh, take that. But yeah, so you would scrap the... Uh, oh, I meant the arrows. Um, extra recipes that you don't want or that you already have, and then you can use those to make different recipes, different notes for skills and classes, which is pretty cool. I think it's a nice system. Come on, who's got these weed nuggets in here? I don't want that. I want the books. I want the books. Not the paper. Man, this place isn't as good as I expecting either. I gotta get the loot stage up. Anybody in here? Some murky water. Any pistols in the toilet? Come on, where are they at? I think they um, did a lot of work with the uh, loot stage stages and uh, the loot table in this uh, latest update. I think I read or heard a little bit about that. Hey, what's up, janitor? I thought you were supposed to be cleaning things, not making things more dirty. Ooh, man. Ooh, he tried grabbing me. That was close. Come on, Steve. Go to sleep. Nice. Level two. All right. Here's something. Let's see. We're gonna grab. Can't grab this one yet. All right. We're gonna go with some strength then. We're just gonna have to put a point here. I'm not too familiar with the um, perk system in. Vanilla, I usually uh, play Darkness Falls, which has its own class system, so bear with me if, if I'm a little bit of a noob. I want these flowers. Any pops in here? Alright, um, let's get rid of the sand, I guess. I'm gonna grab something to eat. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to modify this, put that on there. Can I put this on here? Oh yeah, I can. Sweet. All right. It does give it a little more damage too, and I'll repair this while I'm here before I forget. And uh, we will Should I drink this red tea. Don't see any food in this sham sandwich. I don't really want to eat that. All right, check out over here. The bone, All right? And the glass in the microwave. Always smack those paintings. Sometimes there are safes and all kinds of loot behind them. Ooh, a grenade schematic. All right. That's neat. Already a little bit better than the shotgun messiah. All right. You can also pick up all these chairs and stuff, which is great because you can just scrap it down for leather and for wood if it's a wooden chair. Really easy way to get materials. I'm putting a lot of sand in these uh, crates. If I had a shovel, I would be smacking all of these uh, stone piles, concrete and stuff. Very good way to get resources as well. Without having to go and dig it all up and make it. Uh, yeah, we'll eat this, this shroom. Hopefully we don't start walking sideways or anything. Or seeing things. Maybe a couple snacks. Uh, I'm going to close that. Let her smack again. Open the door, smack her. Oh man. She go back to strip in there. Oh yeah, all these chairs. Yeah, we could pick up all these chairs. A little bit cheeky, but So I can go ahead and take these chairs. Uh if I can find them here there. Scrap them, that's twenty free wood right there. And since I'm not collecting sand at the moment, I'm gonna drop that. What's in here? I guess I will head in here. Oh man, that's gonna take a while. Alright. Alright, I might be able to get around there from the back. I don't know what this is made out of. Stone, yeah, that's going to take a while. I'm not sure if there's a second floor to this place. Is this open? This is locked too? Okay, let's see if we can go outside. Make an entryway in. Oh, man. Oh, hi, boys. I'm going to smack you. Okay. Okay, a little bit worried. Because I'm out of stamina. Oh yeah, here she comes. Alright, you're gonna hang out there. Uh, I'm gonna not use the bow because I got one arrow left. Um, I don't think I can make any either. 
Oh man, my guy's looking a little bit gnarly. Looks like Farmer Joe. All right, how do you, oh. Completely missed that. So what you do is you open it after they hit because then they won't be coming after you or like go to hit as you opened it and then hit you by accident. All right, we're gonna hit him. We're gonna close that door. He's not even realized that other door is open. There we go. Come on, Joe. Back to sleep. Right. Nothing like a cup of Joe in the morning. Ooh, a lot of bro uh, bronze, right? Yeah, we might be able to... Oh, that's locked too. What do we got in here? Anything good? Lockpick, that's nice. Anybody back here? No? Maybe we'll get something good out of this crate. I'm gonna, just a couple heavies. And a light, there we go. Some pumpkin seeds, I don't really want this. Uh, let's see, we only got a couple of those, so we'll get rid of that. Scrap those. You also get a lot of paper from those uh, cardboard boxes and stuff, which is nice. Right. There's a purse there. That might be a drop down to the other room. There's going to be a lot of zombies up here. I do not want to get trapped. Come over here, take this guy out real quick. Mr. Yo. I don't know if that's actually his name or not, or if that's just a mod. Choosing a name for him. Tom Clark. Yeah, I don't recall ever hearing that name, so I'm not sure if it's just the mod, or if that's his actual name. Right, let's see if we can give this guy a nice, nice wake-up call. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, that was my last arrow. I bet you there's gonna be some more people over here. Okay, we're clear, all right, not too bad. Let's see if there's uh, maybe some feathers in here. Five, nice, I don't know how many arrows that is. Ooh, I can make the pipe shotgun too, we'll grab that. Get that ready to go, put that right there. Some stone arrows, sweet. Ooh, we can make 13 of those, all right. Load up the shotgun, this is gonna be the Backup plan when uh, everything else goes south. The, oh shit, they're coming. Alright. Oh yeah, there we go. We drop down in there. Check out this purse. Mm -hmm. Five bucks, alright. Alright, I'm glad I got arrows because I know there's going to be more people here. I just don't know where. There's one. There we go. Incognito. Oh yeah, there's two right there. Alright, let's take her out. Marlene. Oh, there's another one right next to her. Alright, we'll take these guys out. Alright, and maybe the janitor's next. Nice. Alright, we're not doing too bad. 4 for 4, maybe? Wendy's 4 for 4? Alright, not too bad, boys. Alright, we'll loot this up, and then we're going to head over to the trader. Maybe we'll get some good stuff from here. This is the secret facility. Ooh, I'm not sure how we're gonna get out. Ooh, that is nice to have. Where is that uh sweet? Use that. I think we still have to unlock the uh the perk though. This the skill. Oh, I don't remember if I learned that or not. That's alright. Now we have it. They should add something that shows you whether or not you have something learned. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Even if it's not something we could use right now, definitely will be able to. It's always nice to have uh, scoops and sights and mods that we can make. Now I don't recall how to um, actually make these mods and stuff because in Darkness Falls you need these uh, special blueprint papers that are, aren't the easiest to come by. We'll use that. I don't know if that's even going to do anything. And I notice you also can't open up these uh, jars anymore. I don't know if that has to do with just the game or Darkness Falls, so. All right, reinforced chest, nice. Oh, hey, Kenny, what you doing? Oh, Joe, Joe's sleep. All right. Check this out, duckbill attachment. 
All right, so this is yeah, this is we got one lockpick. You think we could do it, boys? Bandages are nice. Those we can stack. These are nice to sell, and some bullets is always nice. Definitely the best chest we've gotten so far, but uh, we actually are low on food, so why don't we eat some of this cat food? Chicken flavor, awesome. All right, where those cans at? There we go. Take that stuff. I think we gotta head out of here. Um, I think all these doors are locked. Yeah. We have to do a little bit of parkour real quick. Now, also in Darkness Falls, you can go through one by one if you crouch, which is really nice. But you cannot in here. Uh, we don't need the seeds. We'll make uh, maybe five of these. That should be able to carry us out of here. There we go. They also added a new system with these blocks. Um, if a block won't survive you placing it, like if you place it out too far, it'll be purple and uh, show you that it's going to collapse, which is really nice. And I think there's another color, maybe like blue or something, that gets darker or lighter as you get closer to failure of the integrity of the stability. That will drop right there. Ooh, that hurt a lot, actually. I wonder if your uh, encumbrance has anything to do with fall damage. If you have a backpack full of uh, stuff, it'll uh, make you take more fall damage. We do eventually want to get into parkour a little bit because it's very nice to get around and uh, just makes you move a lot quicker. All right, we're gonna run out of stamina here. We're gonna check our inventory, see what we got. Uh, we can grab some of this tea. That'll help with the stam regen. Some ears of corn. It's really not much. So once we get to the trader, we'll definitely have to get some food. We're not too far, which is very nice. I don't want to be uh, running all day. We'll, we'll speed this up a little bit. All right. Just about here, we're gonna check out the trash. Nothing, nothing even good. The arrows we got, we got enough to take these guys out. We also have um, a always open traders mod and and a refresh mod, so they refresh their stock. She's down. This is a thug. I don't know if his name is actually like if he's actually a thug or if it's just a the uh, health bar mod. Oh, she's got the air right in the back of the head. That nothing. Talk about a headache. Can I pick it up? There we go. Oh, there's two of them. There we go. I think the other one was in her shoulder. All right, we'll go check over here to the trader. Let's see what kind of loots we can snag up. I'm gonna loot this place after I uh, go up there because I have no inventory space. I want to sell some of this stuff. See what kind of stuff he's got. Oh, this is the cool guy, I think, Trader Joel. Alright, let's see what you got, bud. Maybe he'll have... Oh, he has nerdy glasses. Those are nice. Anything else? What's he got in here? Anything good? A couple of decent things. Nothing worth uh, forking out the money for, though. Um, let's see. We'll sell these. We have that. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. Weed seeds. Torch berries, some cash, these uh, silver nuggets, so yeah, 300 buckaroonies, sweet. Fort bites, uh, those may come in handy. I don't usually eat out of even the medicine or anything, or pills, or steroids are nice once in a while when you have no inventory space. But um, other than that, I usually don't use any of the medications. Um, Alright, that should be good. Let's go see what kind of stuff he's got. Nothing. All right, what about in here? Okay, not horrible. Better than what I got. Okay, nothing. Any tools? Oh, wow, steel tools uh, stuff. I know that's hard to come by, motor tool parts. 
I do remember that. These are nice boxes. They're pretty cool. Oh, you have another lockpick too. We might be able to get into the safe. All right, we're gonna loot up this place and then uh, throw our bag down. So actually, we can't build in here. I forgot. In the Darkness Falls, you can build in the trader. You can break stuff in the trader, and the zombies can get in and kill the trader and everything. Um, also. The uh, trader has a bunch of guards too, which are nice to help out, but they're not very good with their aim, so. Alright. We really don't know. Health bar, that's pretty neat. Hmm. That is neat. I'm gonna grab this can of pears. Is it pears or peas? I don't even know. Because we are a little bit low on food pears. Alright, we'll eat that up. Alright. Not too bad. So, we made it through uh, the majority of the first day. We uh, did get smacked up a little bit, but I think we'll be alright.